This is a multi-electrode array. You can see there's a, a, a dish. Usually this is flat in an incubator and we take rat neurons typically and we lay them in this dish and they, they grow. We, after one week, we pull around these ex external electrodes and send pulses into what is now a brain and see where we get responses on other electrodes. So effectively we're putting a, a sensory input and picking up a motor output which we then link to a robot body so the sensors of the robot will detect in the case of our research when the robot gets close to a wall that stimulates the brain thinks about it, makes a decision and that changes the direction of the robot. Uh, I think my research will always be based partly on trying to help people with disabilities so uh, for Parkinson stimulators trying to understand what's going on in the brain more so we can predict and stimulate to counteract the effects of Parkinson's disease. I think with the rat brain robots, trying to understand also how the brains are operating. So, um, particularly with regard to memories, can we figure out exactly what memories are in the brain? We have a unique opportunity by moving the robot around. We can link in external behaviors with things that manifest themselves in terms of neurons connecting together and try and link the two things together. Um, there's a lot of theories about what memories are but we, we still don't know what is a memory so if we can figure out some engineering approach by trial and error maybe this is what it is then we can apply new neurons, stem cells, different approaches to try and retain memories so that's something I really like to achieve. This is Morgui. Morgui is Mandarin Chinese for magic ghost. And Morgui is a research project. At the moment it's just going through a sequence of movements. But Morgui has five senses. Has vision in its eyes, uh, an infrared uh, on its top lip sensor. Has radar in its nose, which you'll be able to see. Has ultrasonic sensors and then audio, so five inputs, and what we're trying to do is to fuse the information together, which is, for artificial intelligence, it's a bit different. Very often AI is based on one or two pieces of sensory input. Morgui has five, and fusing the data together actually gives us some inkling as to how the human brain works to a certain extent, uh, we hope, anyway. So, if we take human neurons very, very early, and put them into a robot body and let them grow and adapt. Certainly in the near future, having 30 million human neurons driving around a little wheeled robot, yes, we're going to have that. Whether you call that a human brain, um, if we have 100 billion human neurons, which is the same size, that's what is in a human brain, driving around a robot body, it, there is a scale-up issue, but I can't see why that will not be possible in the not-too-distant future. Whether you call that a human brain or not is a more of a philosophical question. Taking a human brain that has been in a human body and giving it a robot body, um, I think we're, we're heading there from the other route with, with people having different disabilities and needing arm replacements and leg replacements and so on. So I think the answer, if, if, are we going to have human brains driving around and moving around in robot bodies? Almost surely yes, in time, but the ultimate transferring your brain into a robot body so it can go off into the sunset uh, I think we might have to wait a few years for that one.